Okay, here we go. This problem says it's a ACTSAT geometry, find the area for an isosceles trapezoid. Uh, the given information says that uh, the perimeter of an isosceles trapezoid is 40. That's given, 40 feet. And the bases of this trapezoid are 11 feet and 19 feet. Find the area. So in this problem, it would be very helpful to draw an isosceles trapezoid. And we have one here. Uh, one of the bases is 11. The other one is 19. And uh, we know the perimeter is 40. So we have 11 plus 19. That would be, what, 30. And so if you take 40 minus the 30 for the two bases, then you have 10 left for the two. Since this is isosceles, these two sides, the two legs would be congruent. One would be 5, and the other one has to be 5. Okay, And so we now have a perimeter of 40, 11 plus 19 plus 5 plus 5. We also know... Uh, well, we could draw the height here and maybe draw another one here since this is an isosceles trapezoid. We have those, and those are perpendicular, and so uh, this is also a right angle. Now, if we subtract 19 minus 11, 19 minus 11, that is 8, and so we have 8 extra feet for the bottom base, so that means you have 4 here and 4 here. And, uh, of course, this is 11 here, the same as the top. So if this is 11, then this is 11. If you want to find the area for this, uh, we could find uh, the height. This would be the height. And we could find the height using the Pythagorean theorem. The height squared plus 4 squared equals to 5 squared. So you could do the height squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. And if you're familiar with the 3, 4, 5 right triangle, I think you already know that the height has to be 3 in this problem. So the height is going to be 3. If you didn't know 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triple, then you could do 25 minus 16, and you're going to get that the height squared is equal to 25 minus 16, which is 9. And so A should be the square root of 9, which is 3. Okay. And at this point, we can figure out the area of this trapezoid by taking uh, the average of the basis times the height. Well, if we take 11 plus 19, we know that's 30. 30 divided by 2, that's 15. 15 times 3 should be the area. 15 times 3 is 45. Now, our units were all in feet, so when we talk about area, this should be 45 square feet. And so, Raise your hand if that's the answer that you got. Okay. Pretty good. That's the answer for that one. 